Merry Christmas Eve, December 24th. Can't believe we're at the end of the year already and that tomorrow is Christmas. Absolutely crazy. Actually, the snow let up a little bit. It's been storming since yesterday morning at like 7 a.m. So we have been snowed in since then. Apparently, it's supposed to continue through tomorrow morning. But right now, the wind isn't gushing and it's not snowing. So we're going to... We're gonna take that as a win, but the snow does look very pretty outside, although it is, it's quite nasty. It's really cold. I think it's like five degrees, and with wind chill, it's like negative 10 to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So, not pleasant to be outside. Anyways, still unsure what our plans are for the day. Usually my mom's side comes over for Christmas, and then my dad makes dinner. We do gifts, the whole, the whole shebang but I'm kind of assuming that most people won't be able to make it here because they live about like 30 to 40 minutes away. And I know that there's like, is there a travel ban? Yes. Yeah, there's a travel ban, so. You get arrested if, well, you get a ticket. But I feel like half of the streets aren't even gonna be plowed, so. It's gonna be a different Christmas this year. Tomorrow should be okay. Like tomorrow, the weather's supposed to let up or be done. So hopefully our plans for tomorrow evening will be fine. But that's just part of the fun, isn't it? I'm gonna wait and see what happens. Dad's off to brace the storm. Let me get into character. <laughs> hey, I'm Joey from the... I'm from uh, Love Joey, okay? I'm gonna go out and do something with this one. <laughs> I've got quite a few things I need to do today. It's gonna be a busy day, to say the least. I need to work out today. I need to publish my YouTube video, but that's already uploaded. I just have to make a thumbnail for it and set up the description box. So that shouldn't take long. I have to wrap the rest of the presents I haven't wrapped. And there's not too many, so that shouldn't be too bad. And then I have to help my mom organize this shelf in the basement. Oh, and I want to paint my nails because that is a must. I can't have these nails for Christmas. That's a crime against humanity. So I'm thinking probably just classic red nails. I don't want to get too crazy, you know, because we're on a time crunch. And the bills play at one o'clock, so we've got to yeah. we've got to speed it up because bills are at the top of our list, obviously. It may be five degrees Fahrenheit outside, but I'm still drinking iced coffee, though we shouldn't be surprised whatsoever. Cheers. Cheers to the blizzard of 2022. Yum. There's just How did that even happen? It's not uh, just seeps in from the wind. Yeah. There's Tom outside doing his. How long has he had that jacket for? <laughs> uh, since we lived here, maybe. Oh my maybe, God. Maybe at the other house. He... Oh, oh God, look at that. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's brutal. That's happening out there, right? Mr. Tom's doing his driveway. Daddy's doing ours. She's too cute. I know. When the wind picks it up, I it's know. just brutal. I know. But at least while he's doing it now, you know, as best he can. So he does both With, of their driveways. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I gotta get across the street and get, ask those people, like, okay, I need his number for next season. How much do you think we have now? Like two feet? Um. Because that's about a foot. Yeah, we probably got so. about two feet so far. Where's my phone? A broken mailbox. <laughs> outfit change into my workout attire of course I had to get festive so top is from Halara bottoms are Lulu I'm obsessed with the back of this top so cute we've got a little Christmas spirit going on and I'm gonna work out I'm gonna do like a shorter workout today just because I have a lot I want to get done and 
you can still have a very effective workout if it's like 30, 40 minutes. So let's go. back we're showered freshened up threw a little bit of makeup on of course i've got my bills jersey on because it's game day so i will be changing for this evening's activities but before this afternoon it's go bills or go home i had a really good workout i did like a 30 ish minute circuit and then i finished off with a little bit of abs probably like 10 minutes of abs nothing too crazy stretched out and now i need to make breakfast it's almost noon so like it's more of a brunch if you will but i've just been busy i Posted my video, responded to some comments, made the thumbnail, the whole shebang. So, here's the fit check. Just some jeans, little long sleeve bodysuit, and my super old jersey. I think it's McGahee. Let's go make some breakfast. I'm really hungry, so I'm excited for some eggs. You're back. I thought you had left. Never. What's the sweatshirt of the day, Dad? Oh, it's back. You wore that one it's last back. video it's back. two days ago. <laughs> Chances are it's going to be an ECC baseball hoodie because that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> I'm in the basement I should say my mom and I are gonna go through the clutter that is behind me um, it, it, it does look a little bit overwhelming I personally don't think it's gonna take too long to organize because tomorrow we're supposed to have family over we have a foosball table down here and if we want to play my mom doesn't want this looking like this but to be honest it doesn't make that much of a difference our basement isn't it's not super appealing because it's not finished but you know, my mom's going to get what she wants, and we're going to go through it. It is kind of a mishmash here, I'm not going to lie, but most of the stuff is like crafty items, paint supplies. I have some storage of like pillows and things. There's a lot of things that I don't use in my room, but I want to keep for when I do get my own place, which hopefully is soon. First and foremost, these are my filming lights. I used to film down here. If you see behind me, this backdrop that's where i used to film my videos and these actually are super nice so i'm gonna keep these they're like studio lights this on the other hand is for my dad it, it's just work lights you know the lighting down here is not brilliant so i'm gonna put that in the back these i guess will go next to the fridge that'll do i have some trophies right here quite a few see the thing with trophies is that 
they're really sentimental, but there's nowhere to store them. So they just end up sitting in the basement. But this one is from 2013, and this one's from 2012. So these ones are, I just realized, these are like 10 years old. What? I was going to say, those aren't that old, but I guess they are. This trophy, however, is very, very old. It's a quite large trophy. This is the Junior President's Trophy that I won in 2004. 2004. This one I can't get rid of. This was very special. Although one of the skating girls did break off. Don't know where she is, but it's fine. I've got bags and like boxes of extra clothes. <laughs> I think this is stuff I either wanted to donate or like sort through that I just never got to. So I'll put that aside. This is Christmas stuff. There's a lot of random stuff in here. A lot of it's clothes, but I do have some like notebooks and stuff. This is my final project from college. I did it on Lululemon, but I had to basically come up with an entire collection. So I had to pick out the color palette, mood board. I had to come up with fabrics and I had to create a bunch of different designs. That's something I want to do more of in 2023 is sketch more because I, I love to sketch and come up with different clothing designs. I just haven't really had the time. Not that I haven't had the time. I haven't made the time. So that's a goal of mine. I'm going to work on everything off of the shelves first and then see where that takes us. webkins i used to have like 40 webkins oh my gosh and i <laughs> i used to make like little outfits for them too and like collars are you kidding me looks 10 times better finally got rid of all the stuff here I do need to vacuum it's very apparent but that's cleared and we have organized the shelves a bit it just looks so much better and I've made a couple boxes of things that I want to bring with me when I move this isn't a teaser I'm not moving anywhere right now but when I do I have stuff I'm gonna bring game time I shouldn't be this stressed out. Oh, nice. It's a Bills win! Even though every game I watch, I'm kind of convinced that they might, they might blow it, but they pull through. my nails what do we think they're nothing great but you know what they're kind of cute i actually was very surprised i don't have red gel nail polish so i went with white because i tried green and the green was disgusting so i thought that like little designs would be cute this is an attempt at a snowman i don't know which side turned out better this is my bad hand though i need to now decide what i'm gonna wear because this is not the attire for tonight I feel like I should start with bottoms. See, these are so cute and they're green for Christmas, but they're they're kind of tropical, so I feel like that's not the vibe for today. I've got three skirt options. So first is this like knitted one that's nice and warm. Then I have this one. It's like a bluish greenish kind of teal color. And then the third one I have is this red one. Here's option one. Here's option two. I don't think I like this one as much. Here's option three. I think this is the winner.
dress casually for a holiday. Looking good. How's the chef doing? Chef's fine. Competition, our first annual, maybe we'll make it a tradition every single year. Very excited. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw numbers and that'll be the starting order. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, who is gonna go first? Dan's going first! And I am second. So I Save the best for last, as right, they say. First for me. So, where are you guys going <laughs> to Okay, what do we got here, Dan? Christmas Cosmo. Christmas, Christmas Cosmo. Cosmo. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I've just spilled. Mmm. Yum. That is good. That is delicious. Taste nine. Presentation nine. Originality. I'd say an, a nine. So, a 27 out of 30 is my, my vote for you. Well, nine and a half for the first one. You got the cranberries, you got the special ice cube, you got the rimmed glass, fabulous glasses. And then Ten. originality. I would say nine. Okay, so that's what? Oh, 28.5 out of 30. So, but higher than you. First round is done. Dad did a great job. Now it's my turn. These are called the Jack Frost. Cheers. Tasty. They said you could do it iced or frozen. The taste, I love the color, but the taste blue. Blue is old. <laughs> but it's a Jack Frost. It's gotta be blue. I'm gonna give Jordan a 27. Mmm. Nine's okay. across the board. Okay. What's the first thing? Presentation. I would say 10. Thanks. I like the little- Ahead of mine? Uh, yeah, I sort of like the little You face. suck! <laughs> <laughs> I'd say taste nine. Originality. Hmm. I would say nine. What's happening over there? No, it's not good. It's not good? I'm improvising. Mo, well, when mom improvises in the kitchen, it's never a good sign. These are a peppermint white, or white Russian. Your little peppermint thing and you stir it on. There was supposed to be more peppermint on the top, but I could not get it to stick, so it's in the bottom. Walking around the Christmas tree <laughs> Mom's stirring it for us. Well, Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like a white Russian. I'm trying to mix it, but I think it's not working. My hope was it was going to be so strong that they would be like, oh, it's fabulous. Because <laughs> I, I do not... That would mean that the previous drinks would have put us in that position. I know, because they were so good. By the third one, it wouldn't make a difference. That's why I was glad when I drew three. <laughs> I'll give you a 25. 25. I'll go two eights and a, and a nine. The winner of the competition is Father Joe. The child sent something of a check if I won the event. <laughs> I want to work. Dinner was spectacular. Drinks were really fun. And I think now we're going to do game night. So, I don't know which game we're going to play because I bought three, but I definitely want to get out of these heels and just put some comfy clothes on. Yeah. We've got five second rule, uno, family feud, or twisted text. These three are the new ones. I would prefer not to do uno just because it's so, so simple. I feel like family feud might be fun or twisted text. <laughs> Yay, from my Yay. Okay, I'm gonna take your thing here.
Yay for mom. Yay for mom. <laughs> Dad's just happy it's over. Okay, I'm, it's this, I am disappointed that we have to stop playing this game. I was having so much fun. I was laughing so hard my head is hurting. It was fun. I did it's, enjoy it. It was fun. Not! It was fun. <laughs> We have made it to the end of the evening. This was definitely a Christmas for the books. Well, Christmas Eve, I should say. But we're definitely gonna remember this Christmas and this blizzard for many years to come. I'm just really thankful that my family and I are safe. And luckily we did not lose power today. I know a lot of people in Buffalo did lose power, which is like a terrifying thought. So I just really hope that everyone is safe and okay because blizzards tend to be a more common thing to happen in buffalo most people usually have a generator like a backup generator to keep the power on in the house so i really hope that anyone that did lose power had access to a generator or could go somewhere like a family or a neighbor's house that had power but i'm going to get to bed now because it's quite late i'm honestly exhausted and Tomorrow is Christmas. So I love you guys in Moon and Back. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope that you are having a wonderful holiday season. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. If you don't celebrate any one of those holidays, I hope you have a great weekend. And if you are affected by this storm in any way, please, 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 please stay safe. It's madness, absolute madness. But I love you guys in the Moon and Back and I will see you bright and early for the Christmas vlog. Bye guys.